Hi, this is Jake with airmedia.com and I wanted to do a video on macro photography and videography and it's always been kind of out of reach um, for me because I don't have a macro lens and they're really expensive. So I was looking around for some kind of a solution that I could find and what I ran into was this piece of equipment. It's a bellows that is actually custom fit for the Canon uh, cameras. Um, fits right onto my T2i. It's got this accordion kind of like bellows system here with these knobs that allow you to kind of fine-tune the, the focus and the amount that's zoomed. It's got all these uh, numbers uh, written on there. I have no idea what those are but anyway it, it hooks up pretty simple to the lens and the camera. Um, you just match up the, the symbols there like you would a normal lens. You can see. And it's usually always best to have it on a tripod. It does have a tripod mount there. One of the downsides I found with using the bellows here is you're so close into your subject that any camera shake or focus change um, and you're bumping that camera, your whole frame gets jarred and you ruin your shot. I remember seeing a video that Dave Dugdale did once upon a time about his homemade turntable and it just delivered awesome results as far as bringing some kind of movement to a, a still life object. So what I ran across is this over at Michael's. It's a spooky town little Halloween carousel um, that I just stripped down, took off all the pieces, and it actually turned out to be pretty good. Just has a little carousel top there that moves. The inspiration for this video is Macro Kingdom um, by Clemento. I uh, ran across it just surfing around on Vimeo. He does some pretty awesome stuff. I'm pretty sure he doesn't use a bellows, um, but nonetheless it's some pretty incredible footage. So that's kind of where I got my idea. Um, here's the video. 